Hello everyone, I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Normal breathing is also known as diaphragmic breathing. It's because the diaphragm is the primary breathing muscle. The diaphragm is a sheath of muscle located in between the chest cavity and the abdominal cavity. When we are performing normal breathing, which I said is also known as diaphragmic breathing, when we contract the diaphragm, the diaphragm moves downwards and that creates a vacuum and air moves into the chest cavity. When the diaphragm is relaxed, the diaphragm raises and air gets pushed out. To practice normal breathing, it is easiest if you start in a supine position, then you could advance to other positions such as seated, standing, kneeling or in a quadruped position, but I'm going to demonstrate it in a supine position because this is the easiest way to learn how to perform normal breathing. Now, I like to have people place their hands on their stomach so they can feel the expansion. Now, I'm going to move my hands just so you could see how my abdominal area expands when I am breathing in. While performing this exercise, always breathe through your nose and you always want to breathe in slowly and exhale slowly. Place your hands on your stomach or just one hand if you want to, whatever works better for you. Breathe in through the nose. Feel the abdominal area expand and then slowly exhale and feel the abdominal area move downwards. And this is a motion that can be performed every day. Continue to practice it until it becomes second nature. When performing this exercise, you can also place your hands on your ribcage just to make sure that the rib cage is not expanding. During heavy breathing or labor breathing, then the rib cage expands. But during normal breathing, like I said before, also known as diaphragmic breathing, the rib cage should not move. So if you want to, you can place one hand on the abdomen and then one hand on the rib cage where you can feel the rib cage stay in the same position and feel the abdomen rise when you are inhaling and then feel the abdomen sink or lower when you are exhaling. Again, breathe in through your nose, you can exhale through your nose or through your mouth, whichever works better for you. Always inhale slowly and exhale slowly. Start in a supine position and then advance to a seated, kneeling, standing, and quadruped position. This is going to help you to learn how to perform normal breathing again, which is also known as diaphragmic breathing. Thank you everybody for watching today's video on spine health. Always remember, never perform an exercise that elicits or intensifies symptoms. Always work through a symptom-free range of motion. Always check with a medical professional before starting any type of exercise program. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. You can visit my website, championshipchiropractic.com, where you get information on my book titled Running, Maximize Performance, and Minimize Injuries. And you can also find my blog on my website. My blog contains articles on spine health, sports medicine, chiropractic, health, fitness, and nutrition. Thank you again for watching today's video. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada.